and we're live. What's going on, everybody? So uh, this is one of those unexpected lives that we do every once in a while because I like to unbox new stuff live. Because when we review it on the channel, I just feel like it's because uh, we're going to do a review, obviously, on what we got here in this box. And I want to just always be super upfront with everybody. And so I figure if we do a live unboxing and we see a problem or we see something like that, it kind of keeps everything honest and we learn about it together. That's kind of the thing that I like to do. So uh, just, you know, it just keeps everything. There's always a lot of that. We were talking about it the other day on a live stream where it was like, you know, YouTubers get, they're not honest about whatever. And I'm like, nah, that's not me. So that's kind of how we, how we do this. So let's, um, let's do it. Obviously, you can see it says Fender on the box. This is a box that I've been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. Uh, when they came out with the first Tone Master um, Twin and the first Tone Master Twin or the Deluxe, I called my guy who knows a thing. Well, actually, he called me and told me, if you're a Princeton guy, wait. It's coming. So I waited and waited and waited. And today is finally the day. Today's uh, unbox knife, Chris Reeves Savenza. Since I got this thing, it has not come out of my pocket. It is absolutely my favorite knife ever. People hype it, but I gotta say, it deserves every bit of it. All right, so let's get an amp out of the box since we know that an amp is in the box. Thank you from Sweetwater. Catalog. Can't, where's the candy? I don't see no candy. Um, it did not come in a box in a box. It just came in the fender box. So just say that real quick. Um, I don't live in California, so I won't get cancer, so that's pretty cool. Still don't see any candy. There are already some surprises in here that I think you guys are going to dig. Oh, here's the candy. Bit of honey. Green lime thing. Old man mint. Tootsie roll. And a Laffy Taffy. Got shorted on the sweet tarts. I'm a sweet tart guy. Okay. We'll get the box out of the way. We'll get the amp up here. And then I'm going to show you some stuff that I am surprised by. It comes with an amp cover. I did not see that one coming. Of course, I didn't read anything. Okay, hey, babe, check this out. Comes with the... An amp slip cover, yeah. Pretty sweet. If anybody has any questions about it too, I'll scroll back through in a minute. Man, that's sick. Embroidered. Nice. Handle comes out the top. Killer. Tell you what, let's uh, give you a bit of a downward pan, shall we? Or a pivot. Uh, so, volume, treble bass, reverb, speed, and intensity, because it does have tremolos, as in tremolo, not vibrato. Uh, we got a manual in here, and we got a thing that says that it's Jensen equipped, because it has a Jensen speaker in it, and what else? Oh, there's a... Oh, this is really cool, actually. Let me flip this around. So it's obviously, it looks like a pine cabinet. It looks like pine. That's interesting. It's not, though. I don't think it's pine. I think it might be something else. But, uh, power cable on a little Velcro strap mounted inside the cabinet, which is really cool. I like that little attention. 
And then we have another Velcro strap capturing the foot switch. And it is not a hardwired foot switch. It is a quarter inch foot switch. Sweet. So we've got reverb and vibrato right there, even though it should be called tremolo. Anyway, wait, does it say? No, it doesn't. Okay. And then a quarter inch TS cable to go for the foot switch. Um, and then on the back of this amp is very interesting. So we have our power on, our mute on, and we have our power scaling. So 0 0.3, 0 0.75, 1.5, 3 watt, 6 watt, and 12 watts because it's a Princeton, so it'll be full. And then we have over here um, our cabinet, cabinet sim off if you weren't going to use a speaker. Cabinet one, cabinet two. We have a ground lift. We have our foot switch plug. And we have our balanced line out output knob and an XLR switch. And I have to say, or an XLR cable. And I have to say, it weighs nothing. It's very, very cool. And I am very, very excited about it. Um, so that's it. Let me get in the comments here, see if there are any questions that anybody might have. Yes, my Princeton Tone Master did arrive. Do you think waxing ruins tone? Depends how much you scream when they rip the tape off. Um, looks like we're all good. So there you go. I am really stoked about this amp. I am going to begin to play it almost immediately. In my little living room spot right over there. And we're going to see what this thing sounds like. And I would guarantee you that I will have enough hours on this thing by Monday that you will see some video on this thing. Uh, that being said, we're also going to feature the uh, Texas Toast Challenger X in a video on Monday. If you are interested in that guitar, it is for sale. Also, the um, Texas Toast slash Dylan collaboration Batfish is for sale. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. And um, there you go. Honey, I shrunk the amp. Um, looks great except for that small speaker. Yeah, except that it's a Princeton. It's supposed to have a 10. So it's a very Princeton situation. That's how they work because it's a Princeton, which I'm excited about because I like a 10. So there you go. Thanks for hanging out. And you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed these quick live unboxings doesn't clog up the regular videos. I figure that's why I do it that way. Have a good one. I'm going to go play this play this amp.